I welcome you to the show. Um, uh, once again, I want to remind you to please, well, first I want to thank you for tuning in on Friday nights to Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen Live, exclamation point, here on Facebook. Um, so please like, share, comment, like, share, comment, as well as go on to my YouTube page because every video that I do live here, I then post. So if there's a recipe or something that you missed from the live, you can always go back to YouTube or my website um, and watch it there. You know, second time around, it, it's still just fine. Uh, YouTube, the handle is Sugar Pearls, S-U-G-A-R-P-E-A-R-L apostrophe S. And um, my IG is at Sugar Pearls underscore online, um, no apostrophe in that. And then my website, of course, is www.sugarpearlsonline.com. Okay, let's get cooking good looking. Oh, so um, today, I don't know what to call it. I'm, I'm going to give it a name at some point, but tonight I'm... Um, haven't really figured it out, um, but I know that for my for my sides. Oh, sorry, I had to make sure I had uh, my ingredients in the in in the in the cabinet ready to go, and I think I do. Oh darn! I did not buy no lemons. I bought limes. I didn't buy lemons. But that's okay. Hey, Kelvin. You're so sweet. Kelvin is always like tuning in. Oh, go ahead. No problem. Nice. Um, yeah, so thank you guys for hanging out. So tonight, um, tonight's dinner is going to be a simple, um, I decided to do chicken, but like a chicken roll. So I'm going to do a stuffed chicken roll now what i'm gonna stuff it with you can make substitutions however you like and i think it might be something that um my sister patricia because she's always looking for something she can do with chicken or some alternate um protein so this might be your night tonight um so we're gonna do a stuffed chicken roll and i'm gonna stuff it with some onions some um uh, roma tomatoes some cream cheese, sour cream. Um, it's, it's not a healthy recipe. I, I didn't say that. I did not. Um, but it's going to be good. Now, what you choose to fill your stuffed chicken roll with is absolutely up to you. The sky is the limit. But this is what I'm going to do for mine. And I, um, did I tell you spinach? Oh, I got... So I'm going to saute my, I cleaned and cut up some portobello mushroom, some red and Vidalia onions, and I'm going to saute that to get it kind of soft so it can go in kind of in, inside the roll. And um, we're going to put some tomato paste on the, on the inside of the chicken. Then we're going to cover it with a little um, Alfredo sauce and some cheese and yeah this this is not a lose weight recipe but i hope you'll be pleased um for my sides um no starch no rice or anything i'm i'm gonna just do um some fresh broccoli and carrots um i already seasoned them with um my spices and some olive oil and i'm gonna put that in the uh, oven to roast it and I thought that I wanted something kind of sweet, so I, I cut up some uh, sweet potatoes. And I might do some yams. I know. I, I don't even think yams go with what, what I'm doing here, but I'm doing it. Um, I just had a taste for some yams, so that might be something I can hold off to. And eat until Sunday, maybe not. But in any case, um, let's get cooking. 
Honey, we've got dinner and dialogue going on tonight. Now, let me tell you, this has been, for my saints, don't get offended, but one hell of a week. Craziness all over the land. And I just got some stuff I got to get out. I, and I hope that when this video is over, that you'll still love me, that you'll still watch Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen live, exclamation point. Uh, but I got I to gotta say a few things. But first, let's get this food together. Okay, so... Um, now, the way I've been feeling this week really made me feel like I just needed to beat something. I needed to beat something. So what I did was, um, this is my chicken breast that I washed. Crickets. Mm-hmm. Yes, I washed the chicken. Thank you, Mrs. Slater. Thank you. I washed off the chicken breasts, got off the excess uh, store debris, and I butterflied it. So I split it down, opened it up, washed it again on the inside to make sure that bird is going to be good to go. And then I threw it in this Ziploc bag with all sorts of spices. I can't even tell you what I use, but I'll, I'll try. Of course my Himalayan pink salt not much I actually end it with that you know I when I season my meats in order to keep you from being so heavy-handed with your spices um do your salt last do your herbs first okay that's that's just a good rule from me to you for free do your herbs first so I did some um oregano some of that Badia complete seasoning, honey, it's your friend. Um, some cumin, garlic powder, not garlic salt, garlic powder. Um, oh, and some tagine seasoning. Y'all ever tried the um the tagine? The type if that fruit fly don't get out of here, go somewhere. I'm already irritated. I'm liable to shoot. The tagine, honey, it's a fruit seasoning. And in this tagine, you've got like lime seasoning, lemon. Oh, it's good. It is really good. So I I like, um, oh, and I put some lemon pepper seasoning in here also. I like doing different spices. I don't want all my food to taste like Laurie seasoning salt. Yes. Spices first, then your salt. We don't have to use lorries on everything. Y'all y'all been giving lorries the business for years. Go buy you some, some fresh herbs and some, some spices that folks use in other countries. So that's what I got on this chicken. Um... I'm gonna get a little parchment paper here. I'm gonna double it up because I am going to. I think that'll be enough. I'm gonna beat out some frustrations from the week. But before I do, these jams are gonna take a little while, so I'm gonna put these in the oven first. Bake, start. Sometimes I forget to turn the oven on. Yes, yes, sometimes I do. So if I say when I'm doing it, bake, start, then I know I've turned the oven on. Just, just another free tip from me to you. That's my parchment paper. Now we're going to season up this, uh, these jams. Put a little sugar and butter. Ain't nothing about this recipe healthy, y'all. This is just what I wanted. So if, if you thought you were tuning in for some something light and, and this ain't your night 
It's not. I got some light brown sugar here because I don't want my yams to come out black. So light brown sugar or white sugar will give you the same effect. But I like a little light brown sugar in my yams. And I'm, I'm going to be real generous with the sugar because I want it to turn into like a little, little candy juice. Yes. Oh, now I've for I neglected to buy my lemons, but that's okay. I got a, I got something else for that. I think I'm gonna just throw mine with some juice in there. Honey, um, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Sorry, didn't mean to put all my my business up in your face. Let me wash these limes off. And um, oh yeah, like I was about to say. If you don't have certain ingredients on hand, now, I actually went to the store today and uh, still forgot to buy my lemons. But we're going to make it work. I'm just rolling out the line. These lines can be kind of not so friendly. I'm going to soften it up just a little bit to get the maximum amount of juice out of it. Let's, let's get a little lime juice. I don't even have a bottle of, do I? Do I? I'm trying to squeeze all this juice out that I can. I'm going to just drop the, the skins in there. Oh, yeah. When I tell you, mm, been a doozy. Oh, yes, honey. And anything I can do to get out this stress tonight with you, that's what I'm going to do. Oh, my goodness. So, I, um, I'm, I'm just checking to see if I have a little bottle of lime or lemon juice around here somewhere and I I don't I really don't but that's okay where's my towel towel that is all right we are going to make this work now where's my cinnamon and why didn't I put that out already but I, I hope y'all I, oh, in my face. I hope that your week has been wonderful and that's a lot of um a lot of cinnamon, but it'll it'll be all right. It's it's gonna work out, trust me. I'm do a little white sugar. There we go. And some butter. I didn't buy butter, so I hope when I open the door, there's some in here. Butter, don't let me down. Don't, don't let me down. Oh, no, no, no. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? That is not butter, that is cream cheese. Really? Really? Y'all. Did I did I just hear my sister Patricia say it? You probably don't need it anyway. I think I think she said that. I she and I have this telepathy thing, and sometimes I can read her thoughts without hearing her and, and the same is true for her and I could just imagine her saying you didn't need that butter anyway Carla uh, I hope I didn't I'll, how you gonna make yams without butter how how, how? let's just say a prayer that they're successful okay say a prayer
I went to the doctor today. Uh, you know, because I, I had been coming on for a couple of times and I was letting y'all know that, you know, I just wasn't feeling my best. Um, but I had been up in my water intake, working out, um, cut out the liquor and the smoking and all of that stuff. And, and I've been doing that for months and months. And uh, when I went to the doctor today to follow up on some um, labs, what what I discovered was I have where the paperwork ain't nothing ain't nothing scary but when I tell you I cried when he told me that I have high blood pressure and high cholesterol <laughs> I was like <laughs> what are you me no I eat salads every day and not with that old thick dressing either like I eat whole foods and 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 nice leafy greens and bright colored vegetables and I've I've limited my meat intake and all of that cried like a baby yes oh my gosh um, and then he was like, well, you know, um, Dr. Johnny Lyles, thank you, doctor, because he, he got my little tissue and everything, he helped me get my face together. He said, well, you said that those are things that run in your family, among other things, and you know that some of this is genetic, but I can guarantee you that if you had not been working to change your eating lifestyle and habits, you probably like your numbers would be a lot worse um so um that didn't make me feel no better but i said okay so i'm i i had that on the brain today and then i'm dealing with like just excessive issues IBS irritable bowel syndrome I, I'm gonna diagnose myself because I don't know we didn't run this test yet um but when I tell you the nausea and everything that comes up with it like literally throwing up almost every day this week and a couple of days last week of days before that who would be calling me during my show somebody that obviously doesn't watch my show uh, so let me remind you all okay at six o'clock on Fridays I do the show this thing called Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen live exclamation point <laughs> And um, you can catch me here on Fridays at 6. Here, <laughs> LaShawn said it better be. It wasn't Jesus. It wasn't. And I'm just like, really? Like, you know, but that's that's my ego. You know, thinking people are supposed to be a fan when they have no clue. And everybody ain't got to be your fan. They just didn't know. Okay? So from now on, I um, have to put the... The phone call thing on you. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to offer grace and forgiveness here, LaShawn. We're going to get to that topic in a little bit because there's been a lot of forgiveness going around. Lots. Y'all know what we're going to talk about today. Um, My Instagram is at sugarpearls underscore online. And my website is www.sugarpearlsonline.com. All right. For now, for those of you that are just joining, my cousin Benji checked in. Benji, we are doing 
Thank you. To, so I, I talked to my boss later. She hates when I call her boss, but my, my supervisor, my co-leader, as she likes to say, um, and she was like, stop, you need to get the stress off of you. And I have been stressing. Um, and I know that's the main thing. But tonight we are doing a stuffed chicken roll with marinated chicken breast that I'm going to beat the hell out of in a little bit because I think that's going to help me <laughs> relieve some stress. Uh, we're going to do some real um, roasted broccoli and carrots with some seasoning and olive oil on it. I'm going to do that later because it won't take it that long to, to really come up. Now for the fun stuff. I get to just beat it, just beat it, just beat it. Ugh. Ugh. Oh yeah. So this is this is my my chicken breast. So it came like this, and then I washed it. For those of you that are concerned about, oh, well, you shouldn't wash your chicken because you'll spread salmonella throughout. Wash your chicken. I got to get all that that butcher debris off of it. I don't know what his if his knives were clean or what. And I'm washing that. I'm cleaning it. And then I... Split it down the middle, butterfly it till it looks like a little heart, little Valentine. Oh, look at a little Valentine's Day chicken heart. Mm hmm. And I'm gonna lay it here on my parchment paper. I cut out quite a bit, and I'm gonna just fold the parchment paper over, and I'm gonna commence to beating the hell out of this chicken with the flat side. Now, if you got one of these, don't do the prong side because you don't want it to go through the paper. Do the flat side. I'm going to do the flat side, okay? And I'm going to flatten it out as much as possible. Now, pardon me. It's going to get a little bit loud. I'm not going to talk during this time because it'll be hard for you to understand what I'm saying anyway. Okay? So, just let me get out my stress from the past week or so. All right? Excuse me. And now you've got a butterfly chicken breast that is almost twice the size, twice the size that it was when you started out. And you feel better. Honey, I ain't gonna mess up the stove top. That's why I got the parchment paper on it. Y'all, get you a mallet. Get get a mallet um for pounding meats or whatever. I it it sounds worse than it is. I ain't cracking the count the uh stove top. Wash my hands and I'm going to bring y'all in. 
uh, just a little bit for what's about to happen. So when I tell you, what is my arm? Uh, my good soap. Get the good soap to really. I'm gonna wash my hands every time I do this because I don't know. I just don't like the feeling of the chicken and the stuff on my hands when I move on to something else. I don't know. I just think that's a good practice to have. Okay. So you've got your. Come on. Got your chicken breast all doubled up and flattened out. And inside, can, let me see, let me see, let me see. I feel like I want to. Mm -hmm. Okay, so first, oh, why wasn't I sauteing this stuff? Child, hold on. Scoot on over here. Ingredients. Got all my cheeses and my. Don't worry. I... When I tell you. Mm. Quite a week. Quite a week. So, y'all kind of got the idea about. Um, what, what we might be discussing tonight, right? And now, the thoughts and views expressed on Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen Live do not represent the thoughts and views of anybody else because I can't take responsibility for nobody else. I can only take responsibility for me. Um, but when I tell you that as a people, my people, my my beautiful black. Hold on. I'm I'm gonna, I'm going to move this down cuz I I really want to um get in your face about just bear with me, okay? Just, ooh, ooh, yes. About what I realize some of my issue has been this week. Oh, oh, that's, okay, that's interesting. Oh, I got this little telescopic um, contraption here. This is neat. This is this is really neat. But it uh let's do that. Hey y'all. Thank you for sticking with me through through all of my mess. Yes. Do you forgive me? We, we got a lot of forgiveness in our souls. Uh, right now, what I want to do is saute these pepper, these um, onions and portobello mushroom. Okay, I'm gonna wash, wipe my stove down, and I am going to. Grab my Tommy Pots. The Tommy Pot. And wipe this sucker down. Because it looks crazy. It's a little bit crazy. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, Tina, thank you. I don't feel so pretty, but I'll take it. Thank you. Thank you. 
I be trying to put on for the people, honey. Because I can't look like how I feel. Because how I feel is, ooh. I come out here looking rough and stuff with my Afro Puffs. Because that's how I feel. But, um, I got to do y'all better than that. I have to. One of these days I'm going to afford for somebody to do all this camera stuff for me. Alright, so we're going to get our pot warmed up for the, um, mushroom and onion and stuff and then i will show you how i'm gonna stuff uh the chicken breast and then get it ready for oh man i knew i forgot something in in prep that's okay i'm gonna get a couple of roma tomatoes you that Yes. I'm going to wash up my Roma tomatoes. I love it. Uh, I was laughing because Tina told me, I know where you got your spinach. I get almost all my vegetables and fruits from Aldi. And lately, the farmer's market. Because I told you, I had such a good time there. That's where I got this lemongrass. I'm going to make some lemongrass tea in a little bit to keep my stomach settled. Because this... Uh, irritable bowel situation ain't, ain't, ain't nothing to play with. But my sister, um, Patricia, was telling me about there's a, a diet that people are doing um, where you cut out certain foods that contribute to IBS. Um, FODMAP. It's called the FODMAP. Anybody heard of that? F-O-D-M-A-P. FOD map. Um, and so for people who are experiencing um, irritable bowel syndrome and issues and stuff like that, there's just like a whole list of foods that you need to like back off from for a few weeks and until you can resume it again. Now, ironically, <laughs> everything that I'm cooking <laughs> is on the do not eat menu. The onions and all, all of that stuff. Now, the broccoli is, is okay, but in certain portions. So, um, but look it up. And maybe after tonight. Um, but like I said, it's some stuff that I've already been doing. Like limiting meat and alcohol. And hey, Josephine. That's my cousin, Joe. And um, exercising up in my water intake and you would think you would think oh my gosh honey but uh he's gonna see me through so i'm i'm gonna toss my onions in here now and i'm gonna wait for the mushrooms for a second let's do a little i already put olive oil in there. i don't need to do that no more do a little uh, pink salt and um, yeah so let me let me pull up a chair okay now before I go too far in the show you know before I get on my soapbox um let me first say Happy birthday, Reggie Big Dog Fortune. Yes, I don't know if he's on tonight, but Reggie is, um, Lord, Reggie still drives bus in Lee County. And I tell you, if he ever comes through your neighborhood, you're going to know it because he's going to blow that horn until he drives away. But we went to high school together, and let me tell you, Reggie has not changed like he's still he's still big dog i love him and this is birthday today so reggie if you're watching or if somebody's watching and they y'all wish my boy happy birthday today um with his awesome self um and so long and farewell honey to diane carroll 
Did that not wreck your bones? Julia, Claudine, mm. Diane Carroll, that gorgeous black woman is gone. Um, what a career. What a woman. Wasn't she on Dynasty also when we were kids? <laughs> and he gonna like, yes he will. Um Man, oh man. Um, yeah, we're, we're losing some amazing voices of our culture and of our time. Um, but I, I'm confident somewhat um, that as we've lost certain voices of our community that other voices will begin to rise up within our community and start to make strides um, like the Diane Carrolls and the Toni Morrisons um, of our day. Because Lord knows we need more of what's good out there um, about us to take center stage. Um, so among the generals, yes, Marion Gilbert of a different world? Wow. Man, we, we've got... Um, mm. uh, okay, I, I can't hold it anymore. I just can't. Um... So this week, I I have been checking in. You know, I'm I'm always watching the news or listening to NPR. Um, to the point where it, I feel like it was literally starting to make me sick. Like I was going to bed stressed. I'm waking up stressed, and I can't. Like I gotta remember. Who's in control of this thing? And um, just the happenings of late, they're so, yeah, I remember. Yeah, she played Whitley's mom. Um, the happenings of late have been so, it's like bizarro world. Like, are we, like, like you in the twilight zone, the things that are going on. I mean, it's so asinine that you looking around to see if, if you being punked or if John Quinones is going to walk out and ask, what would you do? Because the stuff that is happening, oh my gosh, it's, um... Mm. It it's one reason why I just I'm kind of jaded when it comes to humanity. Like what 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 are we? What are we doing? Do we not care about anything or anyone but ourselves? And it's it's just been. It's been, I tell you, what, as as far as keeping up with the impeachment, y'all just tell me when, because I can't watch no more. I can't. I, I can't. People making excuses for the most foolish things. I'm, I can't. I'm, I got Candyman on TV now. I'd rather watch all the horror movies in the world. Because I can't watch what's happening in real life. It is too crazy. Watching horror movies is actually giving me some, some peace of mind. Because what's happening in real life, child. Mm, 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 mm. Let me know when um, he resigned. 
or they impeach and remove. I'm sorry if y'all don't have the same political views as I do. I'm so I'm, I'm 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 sorry if you don't. But just let me know when it happens. Um, cause I I can't watch no more. I can't keep up. I really can't. And and commentators keep saying the same thing. If if that black president if that Barack Hussein Obama had done a scintilla of some of the stuff that, that I'm seeing unfold ain't no way ain't no way child it's just ridiculous I put the mushrooms in. I put a little salt on it. I'm not going to stir it right now because I just... The salt is going to help it sweat. Going to make you sweat, baby. Yep. So I'm going to let that just kind of sweat. And then I'm going to show you how I'm going to do the, um, the chicken in a little bit. So let, let me... Let me it's all, yeah. It's all kids. It's all adults. It's stuff like we just, oh Lord. But I want y'all to remember one name. I don't know how many names you you've had to remember this week, but I want you to remember this one. And the name is. And this is where we start to talk about some some issues. Normally, I like to wait till my meal's almost done. But I got a feeling y'all going to be chiming in uh, in a little bit. So, that's what I'm looking for. Yes. I'm going to get my Roma to I already washed them. I'm just slicing up a little Roma tomato. Kind of thin, because this is one of those things that's going to go inside the chicken roll, the stuffed chicken, without um, me cooking it first. I should have used a serrated knife on this so I don't get all the juice spilled out, but that's all right. That is all right. Mm hmm. Show sure is. Now the name I want you to remember, if if you haven't been keeping up, or if you're not an NPR nerd like me, my daddy started me on that child when I was in school, a wee tot. So NPR is just like in our in our blood. y'all say a prayer for the family uh, and we got so many prayers to say for so many families but I'm gonna tell you something that really touched me this week um, and unfortunately it hasn't been an isolated or exclusive situation but please pray for the family of um, Botam Jean Botam Jean. That's the young man, uh, if you recall, who was killed by the um, murderous Dallas police officer uh, as he was in his own home. Mm hmm. I don't know why this keeps happening. I, I do not know. Okay. I got it sauteed down enough. I'm going to just pull that off. Turn that off. And I may need to cut up another one of these tomatoes. Hey, Deborah. Mm 
Yeah. Um, so if, of course, a lot of the talk this week has been about Brant Jean. That's the brother of Botam. And how he was able, even in his hurt and his brokenness, to offer forgiveness to his brother's murderer. Y'all, when I tell you I had to check myself or I wrecked myself, like, before I did this show, like, to the point where I was like, I don't think I need to do the show because I'm going to say something that may make people uncomfortable. I'm going to say something that may make me uncomfortable um, once I say it out loud. I'm going to say something that people aren't going to agree with and maybe they... But I can no longer, um, um, I can't not say it because of the repercussions, um, because it is a fact. And this takes me back to, um, Rochella's book. 30 days of overflow that I, um, I, 30 days of overflow from Rochella McDowell and with my hands lifted up from LaShawn Gray, um, that I reviewed last week. And the message from both of those books that I got was faith, perseverance, um, forgiveness, Failure, flaws, um, so last, those books and what has just transpired with this whole, the trial, um, of the murderer of Bolton, Jean, and what he, what his brother did by embracing the murderer um, and offering forgiveness so, so freely and so quickly to the, the murderer of his brother. And it was like, wow, like I got a lot of growing up to do. I've got a lot of growing up to do because there are still some hurts within me that I have not released myself from. Um, not, not necessarily wanting to be over it. Um, and somehow feeling like I don't want to let somebody else off the hook. Uh, I know I'm supposed to, I'm watching my food. It's, it's coming. It's coming. Um, but I remember a quote from Joyce Meyer once, and she said, Holding on to unforgiveness is like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die. I believe that. Um, and God, do I respect that young man, Brant Jean, for doing what he did and for showing people, um, how this thing is supposed to be done, but I'm not ready. Can I be real? 
I'm not ready. No. If if she had busted into my brother's house and murdered him while he was eating a bowl of ice cream, um, and peddled that shady, flimsy, ridiculous, racist defense about feeling threatened and all. Um, no. And then say, you know, um, I wish it was me. Well, if it was you, then I guarantee you, he would have gotten more than 10 years. Rochella, there you are. Please ask a question because you know, I'm, I'm speaking very, in very much in the natural right here. Like I, I ain't got no spiritual response for that. Rochella, please ask a question. Oh, I know she gonna take me to the king. I know she gonna, I know she about to do it. I don't wanna grow up. Why are you not ready? <sighs> okay, so what we're going to do with this chicken right now is... <laughs> oh my gosh! Why you got to come on, on my show messing me up, woman? Mmm. And let me tell you, um, okay, I'm going to answer the question. I'm going to prep this chicken and, and start stuffing it, but I'm going to answer the question. So just, I ain't going to be able to explain a lot of what I'm doing, so just watch as I, watch as I go. Y'all know this is a dinner and dialogue show now. We I don't teach you how to cook. Most of y'all already know how to cook. Um, we just... I know I'm I'm gonna answer your question, bro. I'm I'm getting there. Why am I not ready? For one, for the first reason that I said, um sometimes it ooh it it burns me up because I'm a light. <laughs> it just burns me up when I feel that um, somebody is getting away with something that is wrong. It's so wrong. And it's, it's, I know it's not for me to say that um, they're getting away with anything. They might not be getting away with anything. They may be paying in their own way. Or they may be not. Like, that's that's not for me. I know it's not. Um, but I I don't like injustice. Um, I don't like the fact that I got kicked out of my house and had to live in a, a DV shelter for two months while I got it together because somebody was in their feelings. Um, but I knew I had to eventually get to a place where I could forgive that but it still makes me mad that why is it the people that that are are so ready to offer forgiveness because they know that's something they can't go to bed with that night are the ones that just seem to keep getting screwed all the time it just makes me mad he taught me a lesson. He did. He really, really did. Um, I've, I've got stuff that I'm still... Look at me stirring the heck out the sour cream. It's, <laughs> oh, man. I am a light. I am. I know I am. 
But doggone it. Why do we got to forgive all the time? I'm, I know, I know. What I'm saying is uncomfortable and it's, don't worry, I'm not running for school board, president. I ain't running for Congress, Senate, none of that. So some things I'm going to say that, that just might sound kind of wrong. Why I got to forgive your ass all the time? Like, when you going to be sorry enough not to commit a crime against me in the first place? I don't, I don't know. But they really are not. It may seem like it. Somebody going to have to help me with that. Somebody is really going to have to help me with that. Um, I read something one, one time that said, and I keep the quote at my office. It says, it's nice to say I'm sorry, but it's even nicer to not have to. Your flesh and those feelings are natural. I hate injustices as well, but God said, vengeance is mine. I shall... I know, and I, I know this, I know it, that's the thing, like, I, I know, just makes me so upset, mm. then she had the nerve to say, I wish it was him with the gun and he had killed me. Really? Girl. Girl. You know Black Bottom Jean would not have gotten the same deal you got if that had happened. It just, it just seems so disingenuous. That somebody would come out of their face and say something so asinine. Oh, I know. Got my spinach that I washed. Um, I'm just, more than anything, I'm happy that y'all are allowing me to be transparent about this. And, and I'll tell you, let me say this. Also, I know. Um, somebody had to forgive me for some stuff. I'm sure they did. <laughs> Cause I was raggedy. Still am. Um, and I often need forgiveness. And I don't like having to ask for forgiveness. I, I like to try and be careful enough to not have to ask for it but i need forgiveness all the time if not from from my brother and sister here walking on this earth with me then from my god i know i do so why is it so hard for me to let certain things go Uh, I know this some of this stuff that happened is, is really a, another reason why I was just like kind of ill with all of this mess this week like what what are we doing black, black bodies get lost in these streets all the time all the time for doing everyday basic stuff. Just blood spilled for no reason whatsoever. And um and we forgive. I'm gonna take this sour cream and 
I don't know. What what do y'all say? What do you say? Oh, meanwhile, and I have to look her name up on my computer again. So I don't know if you remember, but think back to the case when um the lady who was a domestic violence, she she was like in a real time situation where her husband was like he had threatened to kill her. Chasing her around and all of this. She got her gun. She fired a warning shot to get him away from her. A warning shot. Black woman, black man. She gets 20 years. Now, I also read today that they had to overturn that. I wonder why they were so quick to overturn it now. Is it because of the outcry of this 10-year sentence that the murderer in Dallas is going to get? It just makes me wonder. Like, did you overturn that? Because it was a stupid sentence to begin with. She didn't even shoot the husband. She fired a warning shot to get him away from her. And she got 20 years. Meanwhile, the murderer of Bolton Jean gets 10 years. And his mom is never going to see him again. And by the way, he was in his own apartment. I'm just spreading a little sour cream and uh, cream cheese on one side of the butterfly chicken. Ooh, yes. And I'm going to do, oh, I'm going to do a little tomato paste on the other side. Okay. No, I, it just it just ain't right it just ain't right but you know um, like grandma saying ain't nothing new under the sun like this this ain't nothing new but it doesn't mean that it doesn't it should not incense us or make you angry or make you move to action. Like, when are we going to move into action? I don't know. Just, uh, we are here saving whales and stuff and ice caps and whatnot. Whales and ice caps are important. Yes, they are. But so are the lives of my brothers and sisters. When are we going to start a movement by that? Hmm? Are we starting one right now by talking about it? How, how what, what do we do? Because we can't keep talking about it. Like there's every great movement, that's why they call them movements, because you gotta do something. You gotta have some action. So this is my I've actually been working while I've been angry. <laughs> Thank you, Tina. Look at my researcher. Marissa Alexander is her name. And did you see where they overturned that um ridiculous sentence? So we got our sour cream and uh, cream cheese on one side of the butterfly chicken uh, topped with our mushroom and onion mixture. And on the other side, we got a tomato paste with some spinach right there. And it's a chicken roll. So we, oh no, 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 no. Put my little Parmesan. Oh, that 
almost looked like a little pizza. My, my, my. Earl. Let me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But y'all don't let me be all my, by myself. If you disagree with me, then say so. I'm just getting stuff off me. Because I can't go to bed with this tonight. Okay? Um, let me know how you feel. What you thinking about all of this? I'm just rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. I need my, um, skewers. Praying, marching, and singing ain't doing no good without... Rochelle, you better go and sit your revolutionary self down. What are we doing? As a people. We see this stuff. We talk about stuff. We talk about change and yada, 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 yada. And I'm so done with that i'm over it i am over it because ain't nothing changing nothing is happening that's my chicken roll i know yep i'm actually getting stuff done like Right. Wash the hands, honey. I like this. Oops. Well, we got to do more. We got to do more. And it's, it's got to be more to um, our movement than showcasing um that's mm, cause i still got a long way to go with with sugar pearls i really do and i understand that and it, it's a work uh, for me you know um but i i knew that when i started this show because everybody got cooking shows now everybody doing mukbangs and all kind of stuff with them eating fried chicken and crab legs and and all of that it ain't nothing wrong with that if that's your stilo okay i i am not mad not hating whatsoever um but i knew for me in my house mm, that season just right that if I did do a show, put myself out there with something that I love to do, that it could not just be a show about, look what I made. I'm so awesome. Child, we got enough of that. Um, I wanted to be able to do something that spoke to the things that were important to me and to my friends. Um, and the people that matter to me. Oh. These were some extra long skewers. Oh, gosh. So I'm just cutting them off right here so I can fit it in the pan. My frying pan that I use is in the fridge. I did some fried rice this morning for breakfast and... I um, um, feel like taking it out and transferring that stuff right now. So, what I'm going to do is brown um, my chicken. And, there we go. And I might do another one. I just might. Yeah, just 
Y'all just pray for me. I, he ain't done with me yet. I, I know he's not. Um, cause I'm too raggedy. I am way too raggedy. I got, I got too much to do. And I know that everything I've gone through or, or things that I might feel or certain things I say, um, it may, may not, it may be a point of freedom for someone else. So I have to like. get that out um and my mom still cautions me to watch, watch the way you say things so i try to remember that as well um but i also know that i have to be true to myself oh my these yams are, are doing things fast i mean let me check on the yams yo Okay, it's starting to soften up. I'm gonna do a little more brown. Oh no, I'm out of brown sugar, am I? I got a little more. Oh, I've got a little more. I can't believe I ain't bought no butter today. Look right at it. And kept on walking because I thought I had some. I thought I did. I'm going to put that up back in there and let it candy up. I think I'm going to put the broccoli and carrots in now to get that going for a few. Okay, and now that I've got a hot pan... I'm going to sit the chicken right on in there. Oops. Don't let all your goodies fall out, though. My goodies, my goodies, my goodies, not my goodies. Turn that up some more because I want to get a nice sear on both sides before I slide it into the oven. Okay? All right. So that's. That's what we doing tonight. Um, that, that's about it. I wonder if I should do another. I'm going to do one right now. I may do another later. But for now, I'm going to just stick with this one. Um, so yeah, so, um, a forgiveness thing, ooh, it's a work, it is a work. I was talking to one of my leaders today about, um, something that I said I forgave someone for that happened in, um, a few weeks ago but realized that um, I still felt a certain kind of way so could that really be forgiveness or or no no because I I think that when I forgave when I said oh, it's a, I forgive you in the moment I did that so that they would feel better um, without realizing that I was still feeling hurt. So for me, I don't think that was real forgiveness because I still, and forgiveness doesn't always make you feel better in the moment, I understand that. But the fact that I did it for them and not for myself it was something I really wrestled with this week. Like, wow. Why why would you put yourself last like that? Why would you diminish yourself 
it seemed, because that was that's my feeling. I felt like I diminished myself to um to protect somebody else's feelings. When I just should have said, you know what? Right now I just need some time. That's it. And I didn't do that. So I think I'm gonna have to circle back and um and deal with that. But I tell you this um this grown up thing really make me feel like just wanting to move back to Thompson and Ethel house and be like, Lord, take me back. Please. I don't want to do it. I don't want to grow up. But we must all go that way. So I guess my question is Tonight's question. If we're gonna have a question tonight. Ooh, gee. <laughs> have you ever forgiven someone? Uh-oh, Rochella, Rochella preaching to me again. Forgiveness is when it is no when it no longer has the power to hurt you. People like to say it's forgive and forget, but how can you erase it? Hmm. Thank you. Y'all please go back and read her comment. Mm. Mm. Is it just me? Cause, Cause I've said I forgive you. I know I have. But it was to let somebody else off the hook. Am I alone? Has, has somebody else done that before? If I'm alone, I understand. I'm I don't mind being the awkward, ugly duck. I, it wouldn't be the first time. It would not be the first time. got a little yeah I can only do one right now because I can't fit no more in this casserole which is cool oh lord um so this is my chicken roll somehow I I don't think it's gonna come out like I want it to when I slice it into like medallions but that's okay I'm now I'm gonna put it in the oven um for about 20 minutes or so Somebody give me some room here to really uh, finish cooking. Those jams are looking good. Yes, 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 they are. Oh, Pearly. <laughs> Pearly said, you are not alone. I am here with you. Thank you. I know that I'm flawed in, in many areas of my life. Lord, if, if not every area of my life. Um, hang on. But I, um, I don't mind 
sharing my process of growth. Um, my trials, my struggles. Um, Cause sometimes what what people get to see on the outside is a very beautified image of something fractured. Um and I guess I don't, I don't mind being openly fractured. <laughs> I try to be cute with it sometimes. Um, but there are times when it's not always cute. And I am aware enough to admit that. Things piss me off all the time um, but I know it's a process and I know that um, what I experience or what I go through is is nothing unique nothing new um, but that doesn't mean that I have to sit in it and just be happy sitting in my mess. No, I got to get up. I got to clean up. I got to make sure that the life I want um, first starts with me doing the work that needs to be done with me. Um, that's why I, I tell my friends all the time. I don't give advice. I don't. <laughs> I ain't gonna, I'm not going to be that friend to tell you what you need to do. I will tell you what I have done um, and how that worked out or didn't. But for most of us who are connected to a higher power, who have, you know, who come from families or are connected to other people, you know, who believe that there's more to this than us. Um, sometimes you already know what the answer is. But you you wrestling. You wrestling with yourself. To do the thing that you know you're supposed to do. So... Didn't intend for Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen Live to go like this tonight. Um, but I will say this. Y'all might not see that chicken. <laughs> I'll, I'll take a picture of it and I'll post it and I'll do a pretty little presentation and all of that stuff. But I, I know I can't keep you on here too long. Um, but... I don't blame Brant Jean for offering such swift forgiveness and and you know some of the comments on social media some have been you know very encouraging for what he's done and some have been you know pretty brutal you know um, for hugging this murderer um, in the midst of this trial. Um, but there's nothing wrong with that. If he needed to do that in order to free himself from a life of bitterness and angst, then baby, do you. There are times when I wish I wish I could. Hmm. I don't know. 
but I know we got work to do. There's there's nothing wrong with being mad with systems. Because some of these systems, ain't God ain't got nothing to do with it. Man put them in place, and man can dismantle them. Um, so there's nothing angry with being, uh, nothing wrong with being angry with, with these systems that were created by man and are flawed. But the question is, what are we going to do? Because I don't want to have to watch another senseless video about some foolishness when we need to be out there having a voice and saying what we want. Or maybe having folks ask us for forgiveness. There's nothing wrong with wanting that. I just wish I could be better at it. And this week, not so much. I really wasn't. Um, but I know that eventually I'll, I'll get there. I'll keep meditating on it and I'll keep praying about it so that, you know, because I do have to walk in light. Because I, I can't have that in my space. So eventually it'll happen. But in the meantime, what do we do? Martin Luther King ain't coming no more. There ain't no more Malcolms. There, there just aren't. Those people that spoke out loud and fierce about the beauty of us, um, they gone. Their lessons live on in, in some of us, but who now is it up to to say the things that need to be said? I just wonder. I don't know. Hmm. Um, yeah. I'll take any suggestions you have. But I ain't marching no more. I ain't signing no more petitions. No, you know what you can do with that petition. Absolutely. Oh, boy. Well, uh, I hope I didn't scare y'all away from the show. <laughs> Every show is not about um, us picking up axes and tiki torches and um, burning down Massa's house. But, um, We need to start somewhere. Gotta start somewhere, y'all. Um, I don't know. I hope that whatever you find your passion is, thank you. Yeah, I told you at the beginning of this. Thank you, Rochella. Um, I said I, I'm going to say some things that are going to make people uncomfortable tonight. And I'm going to say some things that are making me uncomfortable. 
Um, and, and there are some things that I'm conflicted with. But I still got to be true to me. And say it. Because what I have discovered is that no matter how sweetly you put things sometimes, no matter how you craft it to make others feel comfortable, there's still that odd chance that people are still gonna be uncomfortable simply because of what is being said, not necessarily the way. Um, the way is very important. But sometimes people aren't ready to deal with um, the stuff that's in them. And when I leave this world, I um I don't have any room to carry that. I don't have um room in the casket for should'ves and could'ves. Ain't no room. So I gotta lay it out. And what you do with it is your business. Um but I know that I got moves to make. And um uh, the work first has to be done in me and then I'm, I'm going to have to start advocating for my own thoughts and feelings more than I have because I spent time really shrinking myself so that others could get this grand light. Um, and then felt upset that I didn't have my say. And I can't no more. So, um, yeah, the great revolutionaries of our time have said the uncomfortable but they also said what needed to be said um, so I have to find that path for myself in my own way um, oh we take that broccoli out oh my god it looks so good y'all like how I go from um Convo to food talk real quick. Hold on. Uh, <laughs> I done neglected the dinner tonight. What I should have done, what I should have done was just made the meal like I always do and then have the conversation afterwards. No, I shouldn't have. It happened just the way it was supposed to happen. Now, there. There. I said it. Oh yeah, that broccoli is good. I need something to snack on. I know that. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's that chicken takes a little more time. So it's um it's gonna be in the oven for another 20 minutes, but I ain't gonna keep you on the live that long honey um I guess what I really want to say is mm, 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 mm. oh carrots are tender Tasty, got a little sweetness after you roast it. I didn't put no water in that pan. Just olive oil and the spices on the broccoli and carrots. Put it in the oven. 
That's how you roast. You can't roast with a whole lot of water in the pan. So don't put none. Because veggies will, will conjure up their own water. In this case, I didn't have no water in that pan. Which is exactly what I wanted. So I'm going to... Um, I will close by saying this. Um, the lesson that I learned this week, today, even from you, um, is to not knock how others find their freedom. Now, if it doesn't interfere with you, if it's not causing you harm, then you can't knock how other people find their freedom. Botam Jean's brother found his freedom by forgiving his brother's murderer in the midst of that moment. And all week long I struggled with that. Because I was just like, mm-mm, mm-mm, no Amber. You gonna feel this girl. Nope, nope, nope. Can't do it. But because I know who I belong to, and I know at one time what I needed, I can't knock that man for how he chose to find his freedom. I can't. And it still doesn't let her off the hook. Do I feel that justice was done in earnest? No. And, and this is where that discord kind of comes in. It's like, no, I think, I think she still got, um, I don't, I don't think it was right. But if that's what that man needed in that moment, then I can't, I can't judge him for that. Cause Lord knows I have um, had to beg for forgiveness at one time or another in my life and, and someone gladly granted me that well maybe they weren't glad when they did it maybe they like me and sometimes they lie when they say they forgive me maybe but somebody somebody gave that to me so that was one thing I learned don't knock how somebody finds their freedom two um, is a statement that I have mm hmm Ooh-wee, Rochelle, you are having church tonight, honey. Forgiveness comes with a cost, just like the anointing. It does. It really does, because... When someone extends forgiveness to you, it's almost like now you... Whether you do at that moment or years down the line, but you become almost obliged to change something for the better. You're right, it does come with a cost. It really does. And unforgiveness comes with a cost too. 
Oh, it does it. It come with headaches and it come with nausea and diarrhea and oh lord high blood pressure and high cholesterol unforgiveness come with a price too i don't know what you willing to pay butter uh, That cost takes a toll on you. And I can't afford it. I can't. Well, this has been. Ooh. I need to thank y'all for letting me do the show. <laughs> while the dinner's still cooking, and while I'm like, this has been like therapy tonight. Did did y'all just put me on the couch? Really? Like I'm like spilling my guts tonight? Like exposing my vulnerabilities on this live. Did I do that tonight? Oh my gosh. Thank you. Thank you. I'll have to show you the recipe another time. But for now, all I'm saying is thank you, thank you, thank you. Friends, families, newcomers to the show for allowing this little country girl from Lynchburg, South Carolina to be open. Be flawed. Be raggedy. Be broken. Be taught. Be both student and teacher. Y'all, until the next time, Like, share, comment. I love all of that. I love when people are new to the show and all of that, but I'm, I ain't on here for numbers. I'm not. I am simply doing what I felt led to do. That's it. But if you like what you hear, if you like what you see, I don't mind a little pushback. I'm obviously Rochelle O'Dowd, McDowell. <laughs> I love it. Because I'm, I always want to be a student too. And I always want to learn. And I always want to hear different perspectives. So... Don't feel like I'm going to feel a certain type of way because you don't agree with me and on one of these shows about something I say. I, I know you're not. I'm telling you right now. I'm going to say some stuff that's pretty screwed up. Sometimes. But just pray for me through my flaws that I'll continue to grow. Um, YouTube is... Sugar Pearls, that's S-U-G-A-R, P-E-A-R-L, apostrophe S. Um, my IG is at Sugar Pearls underscore online. And of course, the website is www.sugarpearlsonline.com. Thank you again. Um, you are a blessing to me. Um, and I hope, I'm just glad. I'm just glad that you allowed me to use my voice. So thank you. 
and I hope to see you right here next time. In the meanwhile, I'm praying that you will have a phenomenal week and that everything you touch just blossoms and everyone you touch continues to grow. Um, I know because of you I have. So thank you. See you next time.